back again morning afternoon evening good night whatever time you're watching this my name's Uto Beefs welcome to the channel make sure you like share and subscribe follow me on the Instagram Uta underscore beefs for boom back again my daughter's back again last time I kind of messed up with the air and all of that kind of stuff you get me so boom gonna do some proper grouping now first though I'm gonna show you like how to fill up the rifle car shout out Corinne that's the lady at my right at my range like she's into she's got rifles she ain't got the bottle yet so she's kind of not she's iffy with the filling it so I'm just gonna do it for her on the video so if she ever needs help she can just look back quickly you get me so shout out Corinne shout out Valerie as well two ladies at my right at my range so remember like I said men women kids it's safe man you get me in the right in the right environment you get me so boom I'm done talking man let me get on with this ready babes all right so boom dive bottle make sure everything's closed off all right rifle now look this is the fill port let me take it quick for you this is the gauge. You look can see it's on 150, so I had to look through the camera. It's on 150, you got that move? Mm -hmm. So boom, we're gonna fill it now. Where's the probe? Ah, uh, so boom. Probe goes onto this bit. You just pull this bit back, push it in, clicks in. That's on 150 now. Show them a close-up on that view. There's the fill port there. You just push it in. Bang. Right, hold it closer to you now, boo. My knee, fam. It's not even loaded. I forgot to show you. Look, hold on, boo. It's not loaded. Get me. So there you go, boo. All right, then. I'm not sure. Cause some people say, watch this gauge. Some people say, watch this gauge. With the FX Wildcat, the gauge reading is accurate to this, so boom. Let me get in a little bit closer, boo. Bring the gun closer. All right, boom. Gonna fill it to 200 now, yeah? Remember, I'm doing it in the camera, so it's gonna be a little mad thing. Watch this gauge as well, if you can. Sorry, boo. That went up. It went up fast, car. That's the air, that's... I ain't even gonna explain, but boom. It's gonna slow down once it gets to like 150. It's up to 200, turn it off. All right, it's at 200 now, yeah? Bleed it. It's all bled out. This is closed. And just pop this out the rifle. All done. See the rifle's on 200 there as well. We all done, man. All right, so boom, I'm gonna give you a quick pellet test. First dot on the left is the JSB Exact Jumbo Diablo 15.89 with the 5.5, no, the 5.52 head size. So yeah, boobs, load them up quickly. All right, really, you lot should know I bought this Wildcat for the hunting. So I just need to make sure all of my groupings are good with this now quickly. But as you know, that's the, that's the, that's like the homework. Got kids for that. <laughs> Go and boo. Eight shots at that first. First dot. Yeah, the first dot. Mm -mm. He went in the black circle. You hit the dot, I should say. Pellet on pellet, two shots in that.
Oh, P lot of scene, you know, that's, I think that's like three shots in the black dot, only one flyer at the moment. <coughs> Two flyers. <laughs> you watching the wind be? Yeah. Look. Just to make sure. <coughs> Boom. All eight shots. That's the 15.89. I'm going to go to the RSs now. The 13.43s. So, boom. I've got the JSB Exact Jumbo RS now. These are lighter. My rifle zero to 30, 30 yards, as you know, so that's why it was on point with the J with the fifteen point eight nine, the thirteen point four. Load them up, boo. The thirteen point four, they weigh less, so it's gonna hit a little higher than the dot. But remember, it's just the grouping I wanna see. I just wanna see like if I was out there hunting, what would be better to use? Car people say the heavier ones so you can hit them harder, but. The lighter ones just fly faster, so go on, boo. Let's see this grouping anyway. Second up, yeah? Yeah. Alright, cool, cool. Mm. Nah, nah, remember it's lighter, so it's, it's flying straighter. Mm. The heavier ones drop faster, the lighter ones will go straighter trajectory. But just keep aiming for the black dot, yeah? Yeah, it's light as well, so the wind's gonna have a little bit of effect on this. So far it looks like the heavies. That one had some power, you know. You hear how that hit? Yeah. Obviously, it's lighter, so it's flying faster. But you can see the wind's affecting it more. <laughs> That's hitting. <laughs> Boom, that's eight shots. Right now, the 15.89, they're winning. RS is all right, but... All right, the Wolf of RMH's looking lonely over there, so let's see what he's about quickly. Boom. All right, so boom. Wolf of RMH time. All right, so boom. I know this gun's stupid accurate, so put 
H, load them up and put eight shots in that last dot for me. But yeah, imagine my daughter don't even like shooting the wildcat, you know, she prefers this one. So, my guy Jeff, he's gonna sort it soon, but I ain't even telling you lot about Jeff yet. You lot are gonna see him soon. Madman with the air rifles, but yeah, boom. Eight shots at that dot for me. I think it's zero to, I just zeroed it. Eight shots at that. Oh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cover them all with a uh, 1p or a 5p, whatever I can find. But yeah, I'm gonna do the covering later. That little dot at the bottom down here, that was me. I, I put the pen mark in the wrong spot kind of thing. I didn't put it in the center of the paper. All right, mate, so accurate, isn't it, boo? Mm -hmm. But this is what I need to learn. Is it because it's a 177? Straighter trajectory or because it ain't got no kick like the wildcat like I really need to learn that but yeah by this summer I'm gonna get that one fully tuned up as well. <laughs> I think that's all fingernail size, you know, that little group. Give it one more shot just to s make sure. Make sure this more. Yeah, mind my camera. <laughs> Bang, we're all out. That's the eight shots. Look at the grouping on the RM8 though. But I'm gonna show you that later. Let's get into some badness now. I'm gonna explain. Hold on one sec. Like the sun's beating out there, but I just wanna show you. Look, this is my, this is the back door. We're shooting all the way up there, yeah? But, like I said, we've gone another five yards in. I could go another ten yards that way, because I'm only shooting at the shed. I could go further back, but it's long. So, boom! Let me show you something quickly. Power test time again, yeah? So, boom, last time I had the tins, I done it wrong, because I had them all back-to-back -back kind of thing, you get me? It's this one, I took off the lids. So, I made it all equal. And I'm gonna see which ones it can go through. One, two, three. I'm gonna see how far they can go through. So, I'm gonna do it all over again. Ready? Alright, boom. Pellet test time. Boo. Yep. Load them up and put one shot where I showed you underneath that, the one dot. That's the RM8 dot. Put, put in the it's better target for me. Just want to see how far it goes through these tins. Yeah. That was the empty one. <laughs> Alright, go and booty that again. Well, I'm going to switch back to the Wildcat now and test out the power test with the heavier pellet and the lighter pellet. Boom. Alright, boom. Load them up, boo. You see the 
when you look through the scope there's going to be the splatter target with the two dots on top mm. that is for the 15.89 yeah yep. see how far that goes through going and be lick off shots Alright, let me go for the 13.43s now quickly. Alright, boom. Boo, 13.43. Load them up for me. And hit that three dot one on the tin. Let's see what it does. What was that? The RS. See how it made everything fly, but boom. Oh Let me go get that quickly and figure out what I'm going to do next. Alright, boom. Load them up quickly, boo. And then shoot that aerosol can. What is it? What do they call it? Air freshener. Yeah. Bust that right away. Hmm, that was pretty boring. <laughs> Let me do something else quickly. Alright, B, load them up again. Let's see what the JSB, what the 15.89s will do to the orange. If we had the Hades, it probably would have been a mad thing, but yeah, let's see what they do. We're going to try the 13.49s before it freeze as well. Bust him again, babes. Yeah. Alright. Alright, hold on. Let me go set up something else. Alright, then, boo. Show them the entry hole. That's, fine. That's that little hole. Open it a little. You see it bust there. Show them the exit hole now, babes. And then it went straight. Through. And then, boom. Open up the other side. Open it, boobs. Yeah. Alright, then I show them the second shot now before it starts leaking everywhere. Where is it again? Yeah. Alright, then this one was just a little slice, really, but imagine, just imagine that was a bird, really. It would have went straight through him. Bust him. But yeah. I don't know. Let me see if I got anything else. Alright, boom. I put some water in an empty cat pet. What Pepsi can? So boo. Rinse off the magazine on him. See what happens. Look, that went in and out. That Keep. That was exciting. You're a nerd. <laughs> Keep busting it. It's not gonna move now, car. The water's kinda suctioned it down. But it will kill him. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm done. Let me go show you look, my little results on my little. Yeah, I don't even know what I was doing. I just wanted to shoot. <laughs> Alright, boom. First, the can. You look, can see those are the entry holes. Exit, 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 entry, to the can to pieces kind of thing, you get me? It's a bomb. Entry hole, exit hole. Get me? It's crazy. Boo, can you get me a knife out of the kitchen? But yeah, exit hole. No, entry hole. Uh, boom. Now the air freshener. You look can see. Entry hole there. Exit hole here. I should have shot through the bottom secretly. But yeah, that's the air so It's not focusing, but forget him. Come be this. Give me. Uh, so you bring the safest knife. 
Alright, so poor member RM8. What was this one again, boo? I think it was there. I'll edit it in anyway, don't worry. And then this is the other one, yeah? So boom, let's start off with the back. Hold on. So boom, the two, two, two pellets made it through. Mushroomed again like it should do. Oh, let me show you like this. Mushroomed again like it should do. Boom, you see it come. It made it through, one made it through. This is the one at the end. I think that's the 13.43, but we're going to see. So, yeah, boom. Made it through. Get me. 177 didn't make it. The 15.89 did. 13.43. Let me go in again. See, one of them went through all three tins, one went through two, one only went through one. It's so crazy, but yeah, we got that pellet to show you as well. Mushroomed nicely. So, bum, what else do we shoot, babes? All right, so, bum, this is my daughter shooting at 30 plus yards, yeah? Where's that 1P, babe? It's covered at 15.89. Oh, don't play with me. Alright, then, boom. Let me see if I can get it. Alright. That's basically seven shots from the jumbo. That's a nice grouping. Let me do the RS. Seven shots. Hold on. Nah. Seven shots with the RS as well. The 13.43 and then with the 8.4, that's easy. You can cover it with 5p to tell the truth. My daughter's on stuff, don't get it twisted. Seven shots with the 5p. I do this one. No, that one is just out. So, boom, six shots with the 5p. So, yeah, you see what my daughter's on. You lot, remember I said when that. Last video gets to 100 likes. Yeah, but I'm going to take her to the range. You know, I forgot to close out the video, so boom. Big shout out to my daughter, Uta CC. You see, she's on the stuff. And I'm still waiting for the 100 likes on the last video for me to take her to the range. I'm taking her to the range, but if I record it and put it up, it's another story, so boom. Big shout out to you lot, thank you for watching. See, I'm back. I was hiding in the last vlogs in that car. Last video has come, a barber was on holiday. He's back now. I'm back fresh, you get me? So, boom. I'm not gonna say, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Follow me on the Instagram, Uta underscore beefs. Thank you for watching again, you lot. I'll see you on the next video, man.